This is Brother Ron, and welcome to We All Be News Radio and TV, the news free Dixie for the 21st century. you gonna call coon busters i'm back y'all and i don't give two dams about pork chop feminist if i make y'all mad great there are millions of mad black men that have to hear bullshit from traitor sisters every day of their lives i could write a book about bullshit that i have seen witnessed and no one even said anything about y'all can't even handle two three minutes of a black, black man coming back at y'all the way we've been coming at. Folks have been coming at me since I was a kid. Grown women yelling about shit. Black men they don't even know anything about. So I don't give a fuck. Uh, poor chop feminists, go to hell. Y'all are traitors. Y'all are enemies of the people. And y'all have gotten a pass. And now stuff is changing. Some of us brothers are calling y'all asses out. I don't care if you have a vagina. I don't care if you have kids. I don't care what your age is. And you can write something stupid. I'll block your ass. I don't need you. I, I ain't living with you. I don't want you. And putting up nasty comments. I don't say any. You know, I never talk to some woman about her uh, personal stuff. But I do call them out ideologically. And they can't handle it. So I'm back for a minute. Until Facebook puts me off. Obviously. Somebody in, in Silicon Valley can't deal with my point of view. And they're people with millions of followers, tens of thousands, and they're worried about my 10, 20, or 30. Hmm, that's real power. Anyway, y'all, I just want to say to you, it's time. It's time for folks. And hi to everybody, Brother Keith, Brother Judah, Nakia. I will be doing more stuff. If I don't do it now, it'll be towards the election or just after they, you know, I can put a joke up and they'll put me off of Facebook for 30 days. I made a joke and I compared COVID-19 to something else. And they said that violated community standards. That's right. It was a joke. The people in Michigan trying to kidnap the governor with guns and bombs, they didn't, they didn't put them off. So I don't care. Um, pretty soon I'll be writing for Natural Hair Magazine. I've signed a contract. I still need an artist for Coon Buster. I have my logo. I just didn't get an artist that can draw. I need to get one. And that's important, but we're still working with that. There are three documentaries that I'm going to be in. Of course, if y'all haven't heard, I'm in Tariq Nasheed's. I guess I'm going to be in Tariq Nasheed's uh, Buck Breaker or Buck Breaking uh, Doc. I'm going to be in the uh, in a, a doc about people who do the right thing that are religious, and I'm going to be in a doc. I do an interview tomorrow, so it's getting out there. Fake book, be damned. Pork chop, feminist, be damned. Weak ass, motherfucker, backstabbing niggas, be damned. I'm going to keep doing what I feel like doing, saying what I want to say when I want to say it, how I want to say it. I. There's just so much to talk to y'all about. Everything from this woman with the black kids in the Supreme Court. At least she didn't abort them. I mean, that's a lot better than a whole bunch of pork chop feminists who've killed two, three, four, five, six babies. Let the white lady raise them. Even if they don't come up right, at least they weren't murdered. Uh, and so if it's scary to you, I think a culture of people that kill six out of ten of their babies something wrong with us almost as wrong with someone that hates us for just what we look like we got to stop hating ourselves the scriptures say a house divided against itself can't stand won't stand thank you sister nakia um i want to say to y'all there's a lot going on one thing i want to bring to your mind and i want you all to pay attention to this if Joe Biden wins, if Joe Biden wins, I repeat, if Joe Biden wins, watch, hey, how you doing, Tiara? The minute that Joe Biden wins, 
the gays and foreigners and everybody else is going to be rushed to the front of the line and all the dumb fuck black people that we couldn't reach, that we couldn't say, hey, look, you know what? Trump is whack, but Trump has the word black in his mouth, not LGBTQIAPZ. Uh, he doesn't have illegals in his mouth. Isn't it amazing if you got the president that's at least talking about giving you some money, even if he's lying? How come Biden doesn't have to lie to black people for our votes? Not even trying to lie. We know politicians are lying. At least Trump would lie. Biden would even lie. He's straight up. Fuck you, black folks. You ain't gonna get nothing. And y'all don't see that? Are y'all hearing me? There's a lot that I want to say, but the key thing I want to say to you is that Trump seems desperate. He might do something. Biden is so content that he's done everything black people ever wanted, in particular putting us in jail. He doesn't have to offer one thing. Do I love one part or the other? Actually, no. But if I had to choose between someone that was going to give me something and someone that was going to give me nothing, <laughs> excuse me, I would take the person that was going to give me something. Um, Ice Cube and his plan. You know, Ice Cube is a businessman. Ice Cube has learned how to make some money for himself. Ice Cube clearly isn't a person that's trying to like not live large and make money. If they were talking about putting money in the hood, even if they're lying, and I want them to tell the truth, I want the money in the hood. I want you to know my heart. I want everybody to have we need it. We're old. I'm for reparations. You know, uh, even if I'm in a, a Republican setting, they've asked me about reparations. I didn't tell them I wanted one check. I wanted two for being black and Indian. I want two checks. And I've said that on radio <laughs> and in video. I don't give a damn how people see it. I want, I want both checks. Okay, and many of us are both black and Indian. We should get two checks, not just one. All right, I can look at my mama. My mama looks like Indian. My grandmother looked like Indian. My great grandmother, who died before I was born, is a damn Indian who spoke the language. I want both checks. So I like what uh, Cube, but you know what's sad? You mean rappers? would go in the White House and talk business, but no black business people. These coons on the left, these boule Negroes, these rollover Martin sellout types, none of them said, hey, look, Trump, we don't like you. We think you're racist, but this is what we need. Have you ever had to go and negotiate a race with your boss, whether they were male or female or whatever, and they didn't like you? But you needed that damn money. You needed an incremental increase in what they were paying you. And you went in and you tried to get as much as you could get out of it. Do I want us working for anyone else? No. Do I want us to depend on anybody else? No. But when you are dependent, when you are working for someone, what do you do? You see, there's a, a juvenileness, an immaturity, a political stupidity. In the black community that well, I shouldn't have to work for anyone. I said, right, you shouldn't. But damn it, you failed, boomer. You failed the generation before the boomers. And we uh, non-boomers have failed. We've got to do something. So in the interim, if Ice Cube or other people can negotiate something that puts money in our community, I say, damn it, take it. Do I want to have to go to someone that doesn't like me? No, but... Do we have our own money printing machines? Do we really have our own banks, our own infrastructure? Do we really work together and help one another? Do we pool our money and buy from each other? You know the answer is hell no. So while we're in this fragmented, divided, pathetic, pitiful state, you still have to do something. You may not be free fully, but you better pay your rent. You better pay your bill. You better pay whatever you have to, even if you're not a first class citizen, you got to pay. When are we going to look at this thing honestly 
and say, okay, I'm behind the eight ball. What do I do to get from behind the eight ball instead of saying the eight ball shouldn't be in front of you? Hmm? Uh, do I want the eight ball? Do I want racism or segregation or Jim Crow or simulation? I didn't want any of it, but it's here. And it's been around my entire life and the life of my father and his father and his father and so forth. What you going to do? What's your plan? And so if Ice Cube and others, the Platinum Plan, at least Trump said something specifically for black people. Remember with Kamala Harris? Am I going to do something except for black people? No! No! She didn't say no to Willie Brown. She didn't say no to those other city, city officials and a basement of San Francisco City Hall. When it came down to black folks who she's counting on to get votes, no! No. So get what we can. The debate with Kamala and um, Pence, I didn't watch. Um, I wasn't going to watch because I knew Kamala was going to sass him. Hey, y'all, I'm not certain, but I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, I can't stand her. And she walks really nasty like she has a broomstick hanging out of her, you know what, it's really wild. It's really wild. I'm, I'm sorry, ladies. I'm really disappointed sometimes in sisters because I know there's some warrior sisters out there. Y'all don't come down on these coon women. And even Kamala's not even a coon. She's a coolie coon, but not a black coon. I would love to see some sisters just go in on traitor sisters. You know what? I wouldn't have to be what you call a sexist asshole. I wouldn't have to talk about women and shit because I could just talk about sorry ass brothers, which I excel in. Believe me, you want to meet a brother that kicks men in the ass. You you you've met him, okay? I I in fact I delight kicking niggas in the ass, but I notice everyone kicks black men in the ass until it's over kicked. We need to equalize the kicking on the female side because all of us in bad shape we need each other we gotta get together but i'm gonna just say to you everywhere i look i see sellout bitch ass backstabbing carpet munching black women getting a pass the mayor in dc the mayor in chicago the mayor in rochester the mayor that got busted in uh baltimore the one that's in jail Healthy Holly, lying bitch. See how healthy you are. <laughs> Maybe you can put that book in front of your mouth so you don't have to munch on somebody. Um, there's even a vice presidential candidate that's a bisexual carpet munching black woman for the Green Party. I mean, all these black butches, they're the only ones that can run anything. They know how to run dicks away. They don't know how to run anything else. It's really, really, really I'm saying this to you, all my beautiful sisters. I do not hate black women. I don't. I love black women. I just don't like sellout pork chop feminist tramps. Any more than I don't like backstabbing motherfucking niggas. I just don't like them. It just ask me. But I notice a deficit. A lot of black men have been so gaslighted by feminism. They don't ever say anything. I can get a black man to attack anything wrong that black men do. But I cannot get the average black man to criticize black women. They don't want to do that because they're afraid. I don't want to look gay. I don't want to look like I hate women. I'm tired of brothers abandoning their children. All this stuff. All this stuff. A lot of black men are very honest. They confront the problems, weaknesses, and failures of black men. They admit it. They don't defend it. As a result, they're very circumspect in how they criticize things. You know what I've noticed? A lot of sisters don't have the same... Uh, discipline or criticism they haven't heard it uh, I mean I just pissed some sister off about talking to her about fat women yes I did you know I've known some fat men in my time and the average fat dude figures if I'm a blimp dude I better have a lot of money because a lot of women don't want to look be with me because I'm fat and I'm going to have to have more money be kinder and more generous to get the same attention as a lean and in shape gym Negro. Why is it that fat black women think that they should get the same consideration as the PETA and some sister that really um, 
takes care of herself. Why does a man have to love obesity when it's a woman, but a woman can hate obesity and men? Men accept it and women have an attitude. Do you know where this came from? This came from white feminists who starved themselves to death with bulimia and anorexia nervosa. But to cock up, cock block and fuck up black men, they've told all their little ugly, <laughs> scruggy black female friends that being fat was beautiful. And you have all these fat black women on television and everything else. You don't have a bunch of fat white women on television. It wouldn't be tolerated because fat is unhealthy and fat isn't pretty. You have a pretty face, but is your body pretty? When you got four asses, when you only need one. When you've got three or four stomachs and you only really need one. Oh, Lizzo, you mean Lizzo. That silly asshole woman. And, you know, and there's a, a false concept in the black community. If you criticize women, you hate women and you hate pussy. Not true. Maybe you love it, but you want to get it with some respect. You want it within a proportionate size, right? You, you don't want to get beaten up and disrespected over getting it, being lectured. I shouldn't give you this pussy. You don't deserve it because, well, I'm so angry with black men because I've been hurt, right? Dudes don't say I'm not going to give you some dick because he's been hurt. I'm going to say spread him open. <laughs> you know, rise, shine, give God the glory, right? We're just having a real conversation here. <laughs> Excuse me. So, my dear brothers and sisters, if you have to, write in Barack Obama, but please don't vote for Joe Biden. I'm going to vote for Trump. Is Trump a, a, <laughs> a piece of work? Yes, yes, he is. But just as sure as I'm talking to you, one of my colleagues, Mr. Brendan Brown, who led a protest against uh, the covering up of blacks being executed and lynched in Delaware, the attorney general is now investigating his child support modifications. Are uh, you hearing me? The young man who led people say, stop killing us and we're going to protect one another has now been targeted by the attorney general of Delaware who replaced Joe Biden Jr. Joe Biden Jr. covered up police murders and lynchings of blacks in Delaware. Uh, the number it exceeds 10. I repeat, Joe Biden Jr. covered up the lynchings and police murders and police corruption against blacks in Delaware for years and human trafficking. If, and if you look, Delaware is one of the blackest states in America, even though it's got a small population, blacks are somewhere between 30 to 35 percent of the population of Delaware. You understand that Delaware is literally one out of three people in Delaware black. There are only two, three states that have black populations like that. We can throw in the District of Columbia where black folks are about half, which leads the country. But then there's Mississippi and then boom, 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 Delaware. Then there's South Carolina and Louisiana. Joe Biden, actually, if the number is suppressed, Delaware may be the blackest state in America, and yet poverty and everything is there. Black people haven't benefited one damn thing in the 50 years that Joe Biden has been in government in Delaware. Nothing. Nothing. There's high rates of poverty. There's nothing for people to do. Schools were segregated. Most people don't know that when they had the Brown case of 1954 and the subsequent cases, that part of the Brown case included Delaware as having segregated schools, as did the District of Columbia. There was a case from South Carolina as well as a case from Kansas. There were many cases in the Brown case. You just heard about Topeka, but there was one in Delaware. 
And do you know that Delaware schools were so bad and so segregated, they were under consent decree from the 1950s all the way into the 1990s. Joe Biden came into power opposing school desegregation. Now, and so I hear all these people, and that was in 1971-72. Do you realize that's 50 years ago Joe Biden didn't want blacks in school with whites before Donald Trump ever got into politics, meaning that Joe Biden has been dogging black people for 50 years and all the sellout coons in the Democratic Party leadership are ignoring the truth. I get that they hate Trump. Well, everyone doesn't like him. I understand that too. But has Trump specifically, outside of talking trash, which he does to everyone, what has Trump done specifically to hurt black people in the last four years? And then ask yourself, what specifically has Donald Trump done to help black people the last four years? Something I don't like that Donald Trump has been against is Obamacare, but Obamacare has flaws. I don't want him to get rid of it. I want him to make it better. I disagree with him on that. I openly disagree with people where, see, here's the thing. What I hate about what I call Republicans and Democoons, they're more loyal to the party of white supremacists than black people. I'm just the opposite. I'm loyal, more loyal to black people than any political party. Okay. I know what it's like, and I can say this honestly to you, that um, when I was in conversations with people connected to the White House, I talked about uh, Section 3, employment for black people who are low income, housing for black people that are low income, unsafe drinking water, unsafe air quality, food deserts, talked about the need to do something about eugenics programs against our women, and also um, other things to uh, combat uh, one, structural police violence against our community. That's what I talked about. Whether it's a room full of whites, a room full of blacks, I want everything I can get for the people like me. I don't give a damn who doesn't like it. Um, I'm the only person that you might know that denounced uh, Sessions as racist in chief, as a magic Klansman, I even mentioned the fact that he was fucking a black man in Alabama, and then they attacked my Skype. I got put off television for that. I did this back in 2017. So I can be in one party, but I'm a black person in whatever party or group I'm in. And so minus a thing here too, I'll sound like anybody in any other party that's black that gives a damn about our people and our communities. I know other people that don't. They suck up and they get quiet. And by the way, I do hate abortion. And I do tell folks black first, not gay first, not illegal first. Real talk, when they ask me, I'm tired of that. I don't care who knows. Ask your folks on the Democratic side, will they speak up? Well, they demand that that bitch Nancy Pelosi, that drunk bitch Nancy Pelosi, do something for black folks. Perhaps you guys aren't aware of the WikiLeaks letter that came out where the Democratic Party has a rule. Listen to black people, talk to black people, but never give them anything that they ask for. That came from Hillary Clinton and Nancy Pelosi. Whatever blacks ask for, the answer is no. That's how Obama ran his White House for eight years. So, yes, I can't stand Obama. I can't stand people that voted for Obama, especially if they're black. I don't care that he's gone. I'm still angry that he was ever there. I would have rather us have someone that made us angry and stick together like some of us are doing. 
I love Trump for how he's made so many black people mad. They're buying guns, talking about farming, setting up communities. Shit, I wish he had been president 20 years ago. And um, I want to say something about folk calling Trump the biggest racist. I need to make y'all understand that um, Richard Spencer, the biggest white Nazi in the country, endorsed Joe Biden. He didn't do it because Joe Biden likes black people. It's because Richard Spencer and the other Nazis studied Biden and recognized that he would do more to hurt black people than Trump would. In fact, the Nazis have left Trump because he doesn't hate black people. They are so disappointed. He'll say something and then he won't do it. Sort of like black folks say stuff when they're around white folk and they don't mean it. Are y'all understanding me? So I want y'all to think it's not what the elections will do, really y'all. It's what we'll do for each other. What we'll do, I want to let you know what I've been doing this summer. In a couple of days, I'll be back in Kentucky. I've been meeting with black farmers. We've already decided to put together a, co a cooperative to look at what we can do to get food put in various communities in the country. These are people who've already been farming. You are looking at the face of one of the brothers that's gonna be working on the 2022 farm bill to make certain that black farmers get their damn share of the motherfucking money that the Department of Agriculture puts out. I don't know anything about farm policy, but you bet your ass I'm gonna learn. And, uh, you know, I had some stupid person on Facebook say, what am I going to do, like scratch balls or something? Really crude sister who I blocked. Um, if I said to you that part of the platinum plan that Trump put together, it wasn't just Ice Cube. Uh, several of us had a meeting with the White House just a few months ago. And some of what I suggested was in the platinum plan. I don't care if people know I did it. I'm just telling you, I was there. There's a person who works in the White House, Mr. Smith, who we've been giving information and ideas to, recommending policies that the president can implement to serve black people specifically, okay? I'm just saying this to you. I'm not lying, not making it up. I'm going back down south next week. We'll be traveling, talking to people on top of that. I am even, I just got a text while I've been doing this coon buster. I will be working with hemp farmers as well. So if you want some CBD products and so forth, contact me. Pretty soon I'll have them. You can come buy them or whatever. I also will be writing for Natural Hair Magazine. We have one and a half million followers in Instagram, Facebook, and otherwise. Um, we'll not just talk, but I also want to bring to your attention, there's an initiative, I don't know, I'm trying to make certain that I get paid to do it in the future, but there's a sister who was put in jail for fighting to prevent banks from stealing homes from middle class and working class black people in the D.C. area. And if we can work out that they got to pay me because I can't do this stuff for free anymore. I'm getting old. I need to take care of my mama who's been taking care of me as I've taken care of other people. But if that works, y'all be hearing from Coon Busters for me to explain to you how the NAACP and the Urban League and the Democratic Party and a specific state somewhere here in the United States help put a black woman in jail as a terrorist for fighting to keep banks and others from stealing the home, black homes from black families. That's terrorism. I repeat, a black woman who worked for the NAACP, serving, trying to keep people from being evicted, set out and their homes stolen or being unfairly foreclosed on was thrown in jail as a terrorist. And this was done by the Democratic Party and black Democrats in a state on the East Coast of the United States of America. 
see what coons do. A person who thought helping other black people was what their job was, and instead they were supposed to have taken a bribe to look the other way when they stole people's homes. This isn't this is happening all over the country where you see all this black homelessness. Homes are being stolen. And people like Maxine Waters and Bobby Rush and others, Rashida, the little broad in Detroit, the Palestinian trick, they all let them steal black people's property. No one says or does anything about it. If you try, they put you in jail. By the way, they're all Democratic enclaves. Everyone's a Democrat. As much as we hate the self-hating, disgusting black coon Republicans, sorry folks, the blacks and blue, with and without badges, do the most damage to us because they're the most numerous. So when I talk to, and I know several people who've been put in jail, and it's all been facilitated by black Democrats who decide to destroy good people and no one wants to believe, why would they do that? This person's a decent human being because they don't give a damn. Are y'all hearing me? So I'll be continuing to do that. Uh, the group uh, first, it's Ag First Cooperative in Kentucky with partners in Alabama, I'm sorry, in Georgia, Florida and other states. You just might see me on Coon Bus to talk about how you can get uh, hormonal free meats and heirloom vegetables. It's coming. This will be up and running next year. That's why you haven't seen me that much. I actually get tired of talking. So I've been out growing, farming, baking pies, learning about stuff, meeting folks, looking at what I could do, hooking up with folks who have hemp. So even if you want to smoke a hemp blunt, I can sell you one. You don't have to buy it from the Asian corner store. You could buy it from me as much as I hate smoking products. Shoot, I'll go and smoke no matter what I say. So I may as well get some resources and use it for positive cause. And uh, I've met other people. So if you're business folks, I've met folks who can get your stuff sold in Chicago. And we're going to probably be selling it through our magazine. I'm trying to figure out what I can do other than be angry at Coons to generate resources, not just for myself, but uh, see if there's a way we can create some trade, some some synergy. Um, you'll probably see me do a couple of these, maybe not as many because fake book just bothers me so much. <sighs> I mean, I can't stand fake book. I've been waiting for people to create a black platform. I do have a YouTube channel. I think that's Randy Short. You can find me. I'm there. Um, I'll be doing all kinds of things. So, um, but Coon Busters, I don't have on my prison stripes, but I can wear those and... I'm going to try to see if I can get Brother Bag X to do another interview and talk to you. Um, I just want to say to you again, uh, be careful. In fact, I've said this, collect seeds. And I'm not a hypocrite. I've got a box full of seeds in my house. I mean, uh, and I mean tens of thousands of seeds, watermelon seeds, cantaloupe seeds, uh, herb seeds, uh, broccoli, kale, stock up. It's going to be rough next year. Everybody needs to learn how to grow some of their own food. Really, I really mean this. If you can have a few chickens, get it. It's going to get rough and uh, stock up on water. Uh, see, Get everything that you can. And of course, if you can have a, a self-defense weaponry, um, you know, don't flaunt the stuff on the internet. Please don't do the dumb stuff Breonna Taylor did. Don't show that you got a gun. Let them find out when they get in. Let them find out when they're in. 
and make certain that they don't get out so you don't get a murder charge. Blow their ass away in your house. Don't run after them in the street. And make certain that you do a headshot because you don't want them to testify against you. We need, and, and if it's a black criminals, I'm tired of black thugs and thuggets praying off of the rest of us, smash them too. Internal and external enemies deserve no quarter in these last and evil days. Amen. All right, because that's how I'm feeling. Um, I didn't really have anything to share with you right at this second. I'm not in this great humorous mood. I don't know why not. I just am not. When I feel sillier, I can make you laugh more. I enjoy making folks laugh because there's a lot to make you cry about. But uh, I will say this. Take a stand. And by the way, be nice to each other. Like each other. Don't hate each other. We're going to need each other. It's about to get really rough. It's about to get really, really rough. No matter who wins the election, folks are going to go postal. Did you hear about the lynching down in Orlando? They hung a black man, I think 22 years old, they're covering it up. Um, we're in a very rough time. Rough, 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 rough time. And the last thing I want to say to you, have you all noticed the silence from practically everyone black that's important, that no one's talking about COVID? If I'm correct, what I saw from a show the other day, uh, one third of the COVID deaths in this country are black. One third. How come none of the coon preachers, none of the coon politicians, none of the coon civil rights leaders, none of the coon entertainers, none of the coon athletes, none of the coon doctors, Indian chiefs, for, for that matter, porn stars, have made any public health pronouncements or made any suggestions to black folks other than wear masks? That's like telling a, 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 a prostitute to use condoms, of course. What more than that? Um, I want to just tell you that um, there are things you can take. FrontlineMDs.com. FrontlineMDs.com. You can get hydroxychloroquine. There is a uh, herb or a supplement called um, um, quercetin. In fact, I think I have, uh, let me see. I think I have some quercetin I can show you. It kind of helps fight corona, but you really should have hydroxychloroquine, vitamin uh, B, vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, in particular 50 milligrams of zinc, and elderberry. Get as much as you can. Some of the stuff is cheap. It's on Amazon. You can get it and come to your house. Um, for hydroxychloroquine, you don't even have to take a whole pill. You can take a small um, fragment of a pill and have that, and it'll last you. It's T-cell immunity that the hydroxychloroquine has uh, that's very important. They're trying to set things in motion to vaccinate us. Now, when did American people start caring about black folks dying? Never in my history have they cared. So don't tell me that they want to vaccinate us because they want us to live. That's complete bullshit. You want to vaccinate us to make certain that we die. So as a person of American Indian descent, we already went to this shit with the blankets. Okay. So they can get the fuck back with the needles. I'm mm -mm. nobody's sticking me, not with a penis, not with a syringe. I don't want anything poking me. I don't care who, especially if you have a white coat on or a white sheet, it's all the same. All right. So, um, for now, I want to check out. We'll probably get back to doing these and hope that they don't shut it off. Um, I was just going to say to all of you that um, I will be communicating more. And I'm also on Instagram. Yeah, I know I'm on Instagram. I'm, I think I'm Randy Short1965. I am in uh, Twitter, DRS11965. There are multiple ways because they're going to shut this down. And I haven't even really said anything. Not really. But don't be surprised. And particularly, y'all, you know that these people are saying 
that uh, Hillary Clinton had the SEAL team that supposedly killed Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden killed. They had them all executed. That may come out in the next few days. If it does, all bets are off. They're going to just kill Biden um, with all the bad news. So, you know. And, uh, yeah, our people are under a lot of trauma, really. There's a lot of trauma hitting our people. But we've got to, uh, one, we've got to uh, stick together. Got to use our heads. Got to be smart. If you're a sister, you just can't, like, give yourself to drug dealers or you'll get brianna and you'll be Trayvon if you're not careful, black men. We got to learn to be smarter, vigilant, stick together, and uh, do everything they can. I wish I had something to really say to you compelling. I'm trying to think. What is it that I want to tell y'all? Um, I want y'all to get that. Um, yeah, they did kill Gaddafi. And uh, uh, Hillary Clinton and all these people have created all kinds of problems. You might see a lot of killing in West Africa and Haiti and other places. It all depends. If Biden wins, black people will begin to get killed all over the planet. In Africa, in Europe, in America, in Latin America, uh, Asia. That's a promise. And uh, so wake up. Now, um, you want to know, I, one, I don't know what Trump took. But, you know, um, they, when you're rich, they, they, they'll, they'll give you something. But Trump could have stayed on the hydroxychloroquine and not gotten it. I actually think that Trump was poisoned. I think it's quite interesting that they just got all of these important White folk got sick all at one time. I don't buy it. I think Fauci and them poison their asses. I think they poison all of them. I think that they all poison. I believe that Fauci and these other people want these vaccines. You know, let me just give you a quick factoid. Mr. Bezos, or he should be called Pedos, a little nasty dude that owns Amazon earned $275 million yesterday, and he'll make $275 million today. He makes $100 billion, $300 million some odd dollars every year. That means if he keeps at this rate in 10 years, he'll have a trillion dollars. Are you understanding me? Gates wants to be a trillionaire, and his only real shot on that is to create the kind of confusion, pain, and fear wherein people will take these vaccines that he can sell to governments at three or $4,000 a shot each year. If you make everyone have to get it, imagine multiply $3,500 times 330 million people. That, that's a trillion dollars. So if he got a big piece of that, maybe five, six years, Gates would be a trillionaire. These people want that kind of money where you can just buy and do whatever you want. Uh, Fauci hates black people's guts. Fauci and these other people are monsters. They're willing to experiment and get us all killed. By the way, I hadn't said anything to you about that bitch Ginsburg. She was cheap. She was stingy. Yes, I knew her. She didn't like black people. She could barely look at you or speak to you when you were speaking to her. That's how much she hated black people. Fuck all the feminists. Fuck all the coons who are crying over that racist Jewish bitch. Fuck them. Uh, I know, because yes, I know. I, I knew her. She knew my face. She didn't even speak to you. She sort of like had this disgusted thing that she had to en engage with you because you weren't white. You didn't see all of her, her staff and her clerks. Practically none of them were black. Now, y'all hate Clarence Thomas, but he has black clerks, as confused as he is. She only had maybe one in her career. Y'all don't get that. But she was for gay marriage, and she's for feminism, and she's for baby killing. And I saw all these dumbass pork chop feminists. I'm sorry, I don't respect dumbass black 
feminists. Y'all, they're dumb, they're ugly, they're stupid, they betray us. And the only time they're doing something is to fight a black man that's upright. If it's a black man out there, a serial killer, hurting and killing our sisters or disappearing girls, you'll never hear a damn thing from a pork chop feminist. But let it be a black man that has some opinions that don't fit within the white liberal path. Those women will destroy that man, make it out. Well, he's saying this. Well, I feel raped every time he opens his mouth. I mean, they just say all this stupid gaslighting bullshit. I don't care. Fuck them. I don't want you. And yes, I'll go to Brazil with the Dominican Republic. I will replace your unattractive, nasty, toxic estrogen ass because you're dis- you're just not pleasant. They make mud. They make focus shame of motherhood. They've done drag black womanhood through the mud, worse than Ike Turner on crack. And that's doing something. So no, to hell with yes. I do have a new enemy, pork chop feminists. Yes, tell them I can't stand them, and I'm trying to wake up all the black men to start mouthing off, getting chatty sassing, speaking back to these folks who think they're queens and gods. My God is in heaven. He's certainly not someone overweight with stretch marks. Believe that, okay? Believe that. I'm sorry, that thing made me mad. That get funny, and I'm thinking I'm getting sleepy too. But anyway, look, y'all. We'll be back to Coon Busters uh, as long as they're not kicking me off. But remember, I have a Randy Short YouTube channel. If y'all want, we can meet there and we can talk about stuff, okay? Um, Ginsburg, she's nasty, and so was Scalia, who's probably a pedophile. He tried to screw that boy and got killed. You know, there's a song Judy Garland sang called The Man That Got Away. Well, for Scalia, it's the kid that got away. They probably killed the kid to cover up the fact that he smothered that dude <laughs> with the pillow. He thought he was going to like make a little snuff film with the kid. That kid got his ass first. A little um, Super Mario brother looking deviant with no mustache. And his ass is dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pitfiles. It's nice when one of them bites the dust. That's what people said. I don't know. I'm not saying he's a pedophile, but, you know, notice how the family was like all quiet. You know, his wife's probably glad he's dead, you know, and the kid probably, son, probably got dented in his ass by his dad and don't want to tell nobody because, you know, you can't use a legacy if your father's a pedophile. Folks will get mad at you. So, um, what am I going to say to y'all? Hmm. The economy could crash this year. I just hope nobody goes out. If a lot of black people stay home this Christmas and Thanksgiving and boycott, a lot of these businesses will will crash and and it'll be nice. All the places, all the stores that used to fuck with you and follow you around like you had a tail and shit, you know, or like a fly and shit, you know, or like a tick on your ass. Isn't it nice to see some of these damn stores shut down? where they were nasty to you and they kept checking the credit limit on your car <laughs> and to see their asses go out of business. Bye, cracker. Bye, racist. Bye, bigot. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, and I just want y'all to be strong. Uh, please eat right. Exercise. Be careful. Um, stop swirling. Avoid Black Lives Matter rallies. Fuck those niggas. They're not for you. Okay. Let them, let their asses get uh, stun, stun grenaded and shot with rubber bullets. I mean, eat some popcorn, drink some tea and watch and say, man, they're doing all there for us. Thanks. Just keep going out there getting their ass beat for me. You know, they're not out there for you. <laughs> but anyway, it's quite interesting. Anyway, I just want to say hi. Who you gonna call? And yes, I'm 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 in my 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 lair for right now, but uh, I'll be back and I'll have more to say. And I think pretty soon, I've got to figure out how to do the streaming. I see Brother DeAndre's on here. I need to talk to him. I need to talk to all the people. I need to be in touch with everybody. Good night. Thank you, uh, Sister Tiara Jones and. I want to repeat, I love good sisters. 
I love my mom. I'm a mama's boy. I'm a grandma's boy. I just don't like pork chop feminists any more than I like backstabbing, brother fucking asshole, uh, oversensitive yet callous, egocentric, narcissistic brothers, if they can call them that, because they're just assholes. They're basically clansmen that can't find a white woman and move to another neighborhood where we never see the ass again. Maybe her brothers will kill them. Um, well, I hope, in fact, I will say this to y'all, all the people swirling, it's about to become miserable if you've cooned, if you thought, you know, <laughs> your husband's Ku Klux Klansman, that was just a Halloween outfit. <laughs> y'all gonna find out. Y'all gonna find out. And by the way, y'all, keep it coming. I appreciate, I have been buying books from my library for research if y'all want to bless me, absolutely cash at me. Dr. Randy Short. Dr. R A N D Y S H O I T. Drop me a piece. I'll probably need it because I'm gonna be in the South. I don't. You don't ever want to run out of money down south. So you can like always get back. But I thank you. I've been able to get books. If you see the books on Facebook, Luciferian Feminism. Uh, that was like a $50, $60 book. A lot of these books that talk about what's going on are very expensive. So when you hear me break it down, I was able to read it somewhere. Definitely bless me if you can. I appreciate it. It's not about me. It's about us. And that's all I have to say for now. I'll be back. But definitely drop me a piece. Drop me a piece. Dr. Randy Short. Uh, or uh, my PayPal is wrandyshort at gmail. Drop me a piece. I could use it right about now. I will be working on building up my YouTube channel. I've been told by Ron Hurd I need to do that. I've been doing Dwan Brown's show. I've been doing other people's shows. I never had this thing of, oh, I want to be famous. I want to be a celebrity. I've had to literally just... Um, Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Patrick Williams? Um, uh, yeah, I used to do a call show. Carl is mad at me because I denounced black men being involved in sex trafficking, going to strip clubs, patronizing these white pimps that uh, enslave our sisters. That's not entertaining to me. That's uh, slavery. And so that's why I'm not on... Uh, um, I'm not, not on Carl's thing. They mad at me because I sassed him. Plus, he's Boulay. He's Boulay. He's Boulay. He's Boulay. He's a cube with Jesse Jackass and the other people. I'm not in the Boulay. I don't want him. In fact, God damn the Boulay. God damn the Boulay. God damn all of them. I don't want anything to do with them. I want to see a day where people like myself bring down our fake sellout compromised elite strata because they won't serve other people. You know, in any capacity I've served in as a teacher or whatever, it didn't matter if the people were poor or broke. I always served my own kind, always made certain. If I was in a hotel, I made certain you got good service if you were black. These people won't look out for us. These the coon preachers, it's all of them. You know, uh, John Lewis's and all these other people, they can't go on to infamy fast enough for me. Okay. Um, hating on Kamala. Kamala hates us. Uh, these, these folks hate our guts. If they loved us, things would be so different. Why is Trump and them begging rappers? Why are there some black economists? Why aren't there people uh, taking Claude Anderson's ass in the White House? For Claude Anderson, who would cuss out anybody and tell them what we must have, what we must get. All right? Uh, I know folks who keep it real. Um, just know that they're Republican sellouts and Democratic sellouts. They're both in the boule. Um, They don't allow people who really will speak up to get there. They block them because, by the way, Trump and them might listen to them. This is crazy. The problem isn't just white people. The problem is 
traitors in our community. That's why I talk about them. This is happening to us because we have an abundance of traitors. There's no penalty for betraying black people. There's no penalty for Arabs selling bad food or Asians or whoever. And anyone can attack us. No one punishes them. Cops can kill in our community. No one punishes them. We have to change this. We have to start making people hurt when they hurt us. Uh, even if it can't be physically, financially, economically, psychologically, make people feel bad. Black folk ran Blumberg's ass out of the Democratic race. They ran Klan Butcher out. The thing is, they didn't run Biden's ass out too. They ran Kamala out. We have to understand that power is also the ability to hurt an enemy. The congressional, the congressional black circus are traitors. The reason that they're going to push these vaccines to mass murder you is that the congressional black circus and the NAACP and the other folks um, receive payments from the pharmaceutical corporations. So these people are willing to take a payment, blood money, for the rest of us to be killed. That's kind of sick that we are not mad about that. People like Maxine Waters, whose office isn't far from a project area where the Latinos were burning black folks out of their housing, illegal aliens burning black folks out. Did Maxine Waters with all of her wigs and wrinkles do anything? No. They don't care. We have to put people in that do care or they fear us. They fear. Roland Martin, he's losing his mind. These Boule people are terrified of little nobodies like me. Uh, Patrick Kevin Williams, um, I go on We All Be Radio. Um, you can just tap me on Facebook. I, I don't, I don't, f this isn't about being famous. If that happens, uh, the most high wanted that for me versus me saying I want to be here or there. It, it's, it's not like that. I don't necessarily beg to be on people's shows or platforms. I am comfortable with Ron and with Dwan and a couple of people and I do programs with them. Patrick, Kevin Williams, I do True Power is Mine, but you will find the uh, YouTube and other people make it difficult for you to find me. And I don't have a big, big millions of followers. What is it that I'm talking about? Where <laughs> They're afraid of me with 150 people listening and other people get to have a million, like the jackasses on The Breakfast Club, Charlemagne the Fraud or Charlene the Fraud. Look at that little gay flag in this background. Look, I know gay folk, I have gay friends and, friends and family. I'm not going to wave that goddamn flag. This is my bedroom. It's not in my bedroom. It wouldn't be at my damn job. It'd be my business if I was deviant. I wouldn't put that shit up in front of people's children. Damn Charlemagne and all of them and penis envy and the little confused girl who likes killing babies. She probably munches carpet too. All these deviants, they're messing us up. You know, I never cared so much about people's sexuality until the last couple of years and just seeing the way that they are willingly. The biggest uncle and aunt Toms and sellouts in our community have been these LGBTQ folks. I've never, I've never felt this way. They've made me angry. It wasn't like I came in this, oh, be mad at folks because um, they got a little bit of doo-doo in their throat from sucking someone's, you know, what after it was in their rear end or whatever. Or this girl has, you know, so much pubic hair down her throat, she's got a fur ball. I really didn't care on a certain level. But when you start making, imposing this, and attacking the progress of a group around your confused sexuality or your sexual trauma, I don't dig you. And it's treason. Plain and simple. That's why they didn't allow, uh, in a lot of intelligence agencies, they didn't let people that were uh, sodomite in there because they could betray over sex. Real talk. That's what That was the standard. Well, it's certainly happening to us. I wish it weren't so. 
I'm not mad at anybody that's legit, that's not like that, that is manages to be black and their sexuality is private. But a lot of these folks, man, it's all about, you know, who, who blanked them in the behind, who's blowing on me like Puff Daddy. And I always said it was Puff on Daddy. He's letting you know what he was really about. I don't believe it. I don't like him. I don't buy his music. I had I was standing right next to him. I refused to greet him uh, back in 1999. I haven't changed. If I don't like you, I don't care how much money, I don't care how famous, I just don't like you. What I said to Debbie Allen in relationship to Puff Daddy is I don't like the direction he's taking my generation. I don't want him to touch me. I don't want to speak to him. He was right next to me. He heard my ass. I said it in 1999. I feel the same way. What is this? 20 years later, I don't change. I wasn't a coon 20 years ago. I'm not a coon now. Puff Daddy. And those were the niggas selling drugs up at Howard in the 80s. Yeah, I said that about his punk ass. And <laughs> and I, we thought there was something wrong with them then too. Uh, there was a whole crew of guys from New York that were very strange. There was a combination of gayness and drugs and these New York rapper type people i'm just telling you real talk real talk and i'm not saying i saw anyone do anything but they lived right across the hall and two 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 one room over from me one person got killed they would have dudes in there get high and be there all day it's like it's interesting you question my manhood i'm by myself and you got a bunch of dudes sleeping in your room every weekend everybody's high hmm Really. So none of this stuff surprises me. And they were all kinds of drugs and deviants. Sure they were. Right up uh, at Howard, I saw it. I ain't mad. I'm Shoot, I'm not the most macho dude of all time. So one thing I will tell you, they can say whatever they want. Produce the bodies. Produce the people who can say something where it stands. Not just say it, prove it. When and where. It's not going to get very far. Uh, you don't have to be perfect, but there's just, you know, some of us are not trying to live foul. Even if you're challenged, even if you're a little by yourself, don't want to be foul. Some of these people want to be foul. And the thing that makes me most sick, even then, the same dudes who had boyfriends that would accuse everybody else of being gay had girlfriends, too. I hope they didn't infect those girls or put some, some have some doodle -doo molecules on their dick and put in a girl and say, well, I don't know how you got a yeast infection. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that. Well, it's who else you right, you know. Okay. Anyway, let me get out of here, y'all. Let me get out of here. This New York, these thug gangsters. None of them has stood up against pedophilia, human trafficking, LGBTQ, that's P. Diddy, that's all of them. All of them have been silent as this stuff has attacked our people. They're silent about this bitch, Cardi B, and Stallion, and this wet-ass pussy bullshit. Where is everybody? Hmm? And what's that thing? Uh, what's his name? Um, help me. The one from Philly. The Unfresh Prince, Will Smith. Now, what kind of dude was a young boy boink his wife? Why were they able to agree to that? I think that six degrees of separation wasn't just a movie, Will Smith. That's a whole different conversation. I ain't even mad. I mean, that's your life. But I'm looking at you and I'm looking at your son talking about wanting to screw Tyler Perry. As a young person, where did he get that from? What's going on in these Hollywood families, these black celebrity sports families? Dwayne Wade, nasty, freaky Dwayne Wade and his macho, macho looking wife who looks like a chemical peel Wesley Snipes. Is that really a woman? She ain't had no kids. I don't believe it. They give her too much attention. They're trying to pass this man off on us. Hell no. I think Gabriel Union's a dude. I'm glad they fired her from The Voice. She can't sing any damn way. <laughs> okay. Or America's Got Talent, whatever it is, I'm glad they fired her. And you like mutilate your boy, make him into a girl, and be or make him into a trans because you won first. 
Just look at how much attention they give Gabriel Union. What's so special about her? Whenever they exalt a black person, it's for a reason to hurt the rest of us. Are they trying to get us to fall in love with a man that's living as a woman that's with a man who's actually gay, who's pretending to be straight, who has children? What kind of man paints his toenails? Hmm. What? I'm serious. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I'm just asking. What kind of man paints his toenails? I wouldn't do that. Look, let me tell you. I really don't like a lot of this stuff. i tell you why. Years ago, when I had an opportunity to be ordained as a minister, that's right, I had to turn them down because they want me to marry people the same sex. And I had to tell them, I can't do that. I said, if I had a redwood tree growing up my ass, I wouldn't marry two dudes. I don't care if I like them and they liked each other. I tell their ass to go to City Hall and get some paperwork. Don't ask me to do that shit. So I said, if I if I were assisting, I wouldn't do it. Since I'm straight, you know I'm not going to do it. They rescinded the offer. All I had to do was marry two dudes and marry two women. Well, you don't have to marry men. You can marry women. Just show us that you're willing to play the game, short. These are black people, too, in the United Church of Christ, Jeremiah Wright's church, Andrew Young's church, Obama's church. Are you understanding me? This, this one more thing I want to say to y'all before I go. There's the, the most nasty, degenerate organization of black people in the country. It's the National Congress of Black Churches. They represent 25 million people. Those naked preachers all support trans, LGBTQ, transhumanism, everything. They've completely sold us out. They're all with the Democratic Party. They're for illegals. They're for everything but us. That big, fat, greasy preacher, Reverend William Barber, you know, the one with the jerry curl and shit. Like, I wonder where he finds those kits or if he knows how to, like, mix up some lies shit for himself. If he were a woman, he'd have fibroids big time. But anyway, you know, big, fat, greasy preacher. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And they say that he's like the new Martin Luther King. I says, no, he's the new Martin Luther King family pack. Get that shit right. Can you imagine what size bed he sleeps on? Like he probably needs three king size beds. And I'd hate for that motherfucker to roll over on me if I were his wife. Shit, I would have life insurance policies and shit. Because I know I'd die if his big bloated ass rolled over on me. And damn, can you imagine if he fell down? I mean, I'd hate to be at a wave pool with his ass and shit. You know, damn, it's just really awful. Um... And I, yes, I hate the Democrats. I just do. I hate the Democratic leadership. They won't do anything for us. We should despise those niggas. We should despise the races in it too. Um, I don't think the Republicans like us. We need our own party. We need our own political party. If confused Kanye can run for president, if we can do whatever we want to do, run for governor, all that. By the way, ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. How many of y'all watching the race in South Carolina? The dude, I think his name is Jaime. What's Jaime's last name? He looks like Mahalia Jackson. And he's running. <laughs> he does. It looks like Mahalia Jackson got a ball cut. This dude looks like Mahalia Jackson. You know, <laughs> Mahalia Jackson had her titties cut off, decided to go into politics. <laughs> this dude is running for senator against um, Lindsey Graham. Now, you know, I'm biased. I would always like to see someone black win things. But you know what? Normally when they win, they don't do anything for us. He's getting all this money, which says to me, that's right. LGBTQ and all these people are behind him. Which means if Lindsey Graham loses, you're going to have a black senator who's like, punk, 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 punk me up, right? Maybe that will happen. I don't know. Uh, but I don't think, I mean, if white folk let uh, two blacks be senators in the same state, whew, that either can't last or they've got to be serving somebody else's interests. I just don't see that happening. I see Mr. James up in Michigan. Maybe that black dude can win, but I'm confused. 
wait a minute. Who's Kool-Aid? Boulay? Wait, 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 wait. Someone said something here. Who's Boulay? Who's Boulay? Somebody tell who 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 you say was Boulay? Okay, Mark Thompson. You know, Mark Thompson, I'm not going to say much other than Mark Thompson's cut was married to my uh, cousin. And um, um, there was a lot of money thrown around around marriage equality. And maybe Mark and them got some of that money. That is, I call it homo fair. That sissy money really got a whole lot of people to change their mind. I don't think that... Um, Uh, yeah, the black senator from South Carolina. What's his name? His name is Jaime something. What's Jaime's name? Uh, let me see. Reverend Barbo, that fat, greasy pig. I just love talking bad about him. Now, I, I don't know. I need to set up a podcast. I just don't know how to do it. So if somebody's down for showing me how... I'm thinking I'd probably be able to do that fairly soon. I have some of the equipment. I have a microphone and the stand and other things. I'll get it. I mean, that's cool. Uh, Mark Thompson, like I said, Mrs. Sankara, was married and had children with my cousin. Eh, I, I, I don't <laughs> Whatever. Uh, that was interesting what happened with that. Um, uh I will, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. I'm not going to say much. Um, wait a minute. Uh, anyway, hey, Randy Blair, everybody. So just check this out and podcast. I'll have to talk to someone about setting that up. Um, but I do have a YouTube channel. I have to sit down and figure. I just don't plan to do these all the time. As much as I have something. Yes, it's Jaime Harrison. Thank you. Jaime does look like Mahalia Jackson with the ball cut, with the titties cut off. And I'm just watching this. And I'm saying, wow, they're just giving him all this love and this money. Um, Jaime Harrison, I'm just wondering, is he really, can you, in South Carolina, you can stand up and be for black people and win office? Hmm. Not since Reconstruction, as far as I can see. In particular, when you look at that sorry-ass, balding, prematurely balding Uncle Ben's figure, uh, Clanburn, or Scamburn, or Coonburn, the one that, that helped support the mass incarceration bill would have never passed without that trifling-ass Dr. Bledsoe Coonburn down in South Carolina. He ain't shit. In fact, one time I went to his office, and all the people on staff... And the nice part of the office were white. The black people were in the back. This was a couple of years ago, but yes, all the black people were in the back. Are you understanding me? What I'm trying to say to you goes on here in Washington. That this, this is a big plantation. The White House is a plantation house. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Yes, I'm sick of Black Lives Matter, but I'll say this to you. I did a documentary film, Patrick Kevin Williams, called Black, White, and Blue with Curtis Schoon. It's on Amazon Prime, Black, White, and Blue, and we talked about Black Lives Matter. And I dogged those bastards, and Black Lives Matter and others worked to block to keep this film from reaching a mass audience. People are going to have to go looking for people that tell the truth instead of thinking that mainstream television, mainstream radio is going to allow you to hear certain sorts of opinions or, or types of thought. You'll have to almost be hungry for it and try to find it versus thinking it's going to come through the Breakfast Club or through The View. It won't come there. Black folk are going to have to become hungry for wherever they can find the truth versus thinking it's going to walk up and force itself on you. Truth isn't like a serial rapist. Truth is a gentleman or a proper lady. You have to invite it in. It won't force itself.
Anyway, I didn't plan to talk this long. Uh, please uh, keep me aware of what's happening. Um, keep your eyes peeled on Kentucky. Keep your eyes peeled on St. Louis. Keep your eyes peeled that there may be riots in places you've never seen them before, like Richmond, Virginia. Who knows? There's a lot of strange stuff going on. There may even be a blow up in Charlotte. It all depends. Anyway, God bless y'all. Pardon all the colorful language, but y'all know what I'm saying. I'm going to get out of here. I'll talk to y'all later. Share this and... Let's see, uh, podcast, uh, it's possible. I'm open to that. Um, but I have a YouTube channel. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm in Facebook. They put me out on LinkedIn. I made them mad. I started just going in on Kamala's ass. And so <laughs> I went on Kamala's ass so hard. They they, they want to know who I am, where do you live, and we need to confirm your ID. And I made some liberals mad, so you know how that is. So good night. God bless you. Be strong, uh, respect, and love each other. And uh, it's going to be all right. We've been through a slave ship and genocide, and we part Indian. We've been through that, too. We'll make it. All right. Good night. Y'all take care. This is Brother Ron. I am asking you all to do me a big favor. Think about supporting the We All Be movement. Your donation is tax deductible. The We All Be Group Incorporated is a recognized 501c3. And I'm just asking you all because I want to keep on bringing y'all quality work uh, through the way that I know how to do best. And uh, I'm going to sing my praises and toot my horn. A lot of y'all were not hip to Dick Gregory until Brother Ron brought him on the We All Be platform, until that Django review we did. Y'all seen another side of Judge Joe Brown, and Judge Joe Brown's message has been amplified. But it was We All Be that brought Judge Joe Brown to y'all back in 2014. And so many others, and we covered so many things. So help us out so we can help you all. Peace.